In tonight's Ask Anthony, a moving nightmare. A woman moved from St. Augustine to New Jersey in February. Today is April 2nd, and she has yet to receive her belongings. The reason why is due to a payment dispute, so she turned to me for help. I've already paid almost $6,000. I've been without my items, without my belongings, since February 10th. Lori Nolan moved from her two-bedroom condo in St. Augustine to New Jersey to take care of her sick parents earlier this year. In January, she hired a moving company out of Orlando to bring her belongings up north. She was given a quote of $3,500. She paid a deposit of $800. But the day before the move, she received a phone call. They called and they said they needed another $570 payment, so I did that. Um, then in the afternoon, late in the afternoon, they called me and they said, you know, we think you're going to go over a little bit, so we would like an additional 1700 Nolan sent me copies of all the money orders she used to make payments. She says she was told to make the additional payments in cash or money order. First thing he wants is that those money orders. Give him the money, money order and I'm about to take off the receipts. No, you're not allowed to have them. I go, what do you mean I'm not allowed to have them? He said, no. He says, if you take off those receipts, they're null and void. You have to go get more money orders. I said, that's my receipt. That They're mine. Nolan's belongings didn't arrive to New Jersey until almost a month later. She says the movers asked for an additional amount, which was almost $2,000 to unload the truck. She didn't pay it, so they drove off with her stuff. I got on a plane with my purse. I didn't even have a suitcase. So everything is, is there on that truck. The name of the company is Today Move Movers. According to the company's website, they're family owned and describe themselves as dependable Florida movers. According to the Better Business Bureau, this moving company has an F rating with a 1.57 rating out of five stars. The moving company is not accredited by the BBB. Welcome to your professional moving and storage service. I called to the company and a representative answered. I asked to speak with an owner or manager and was told they were all in a meeting, but someone would call me back. Well, as of this newscast, I have not received a phone call or response from that company. But let's talk about the red flags you need to watch out for when hiring movers. First of all, never pay a large deposit. A reputable moving company won't demand cash or a large deposit before moving and pay with a credit card to help protect you from fraudulent activity. And be careful of moving companies with multiple names. To avoid bad reviews and complaints, some moving companies will operate under different names. And remember, if you have a problem you just can't solve, you can always email me at askanthony at firstcoastnews.com.